I am Nagaraj, lecturer, Government Polytechnic Carver from Karnataka. My topic is money. Today, money is a lifeblood of every economical activities. Without uh, money, no economical activities are uh, carrying in this world. Generally, the money means anything, a currency, a medium of exchange that can be freely acceptable for the an exchange of goods and services and also for the discharge of any kind of obligations. Professor Walker, he says that money is what money does. Similarly, Professor Robert, uh, he defines that money is a currency which can be freely acceptable by the general public in exchange of goods and services and also for the discharge of obligations. So from this, we came to know that money is anything, it not only the currency, it may be anything which can be freely acceptable as a medium of exchange or for the uh, obligations, that is the payment of any kind of obligations. In the pre-early stages, that is uh, in the water system, human wants are very much limited. There were uh, no kind of... Uh, uh, exchange media, they can uh, exchange directly the goods for the goods. But uh, still, uh, there are certain problems during those uh, period of that is a pre-money stage. That is one is double coincidence of wants. It means that two persons should be coincide or wants the particular of goods in exchange between that they are having. Say for example, Mr. A, he is having a cow and Mr. B, he is having a goat and both should be desired to exchange their products at the same point of time. Suppose if there is no desire for the exchange of, if, suppose if a cow, the person is having cow, he wants a table, then there is no question, there is no question of exchanging of goods. And the second one is, lack of measure value. Say, same example, that is a person is having a cow and the person is having a goat and there is no common measure for the value of a cow and the value of a goat. So they cannot be exchanged a goat for a cow. So that is the problem of exchanging the goats in those days. And the next one is uh, one cow is equal to two goat. Suppose if a person is having one goat, if you want to exchange with the cow, then if the cow is cut, then it loses its value. That is the problem in case of uh, uh, early stages. And the last one is, that is a storage problem. That is uh, some of the goods were very perishable and it cannot be stored for a longer period. If they store for a longer period, it loses its value. So that is for example, agricultural products. Agricultural products cannot be stored for a longer period. As long as uh, the, it, it goes on storage, it loses its value gradually. So that is the problem in case of older, earlier stages. So in order to remove all these drawbacks, they introduced money. And the evolution of money is started from, that is from the hunting stage, pastoral stage, agricultural stage and so on. In the hunting stages, the people exchanged their products, that is uh, the, whatever they hunt, uh, the flesh and uh, skin, with the bows and arrows. And in the pastoral stage, the people exchanged their animals with the other animals what they want. And in the agricultural stage, they exchanged the commodities what they produce, the, like uh, uh, wheat, <coughs> rice, uh, the agricultural products. And later on, the metallic money was introduced. That is metallic money, that is because in the agricultural, the commodity money is also having several uh, disadvantages. It means that agricultural products cannot be stored and it cannot be carried from one person, one place to another place easily. It is heavy. For all these uh, drawbacks, some other kind of money was introduced, that is uh, the metallic money. In the earlier stages, 
the metallic money that is uh, copper gold silver uh, iron uh, all other items were uh, introduced as a money and later on the silver and gold so it was very popularized because of its portability malleability and also of a high value with a low size and later on the paper money and uh, the bank money and uh, the plastic money and so on what we call it as uh, today's uh, money is a paper money and then uh, the bank uh, checks and various other money were, were also introduced and uh, nowadays the plastic money what we call it as atm debit card credit card all these were used as a money so from this today i discussed about uh, the meaning the definition and the problems that are in the pre stages of money and also the different uh, kinds of money that is evolution of money thank you